Once our troops are coming off the rear lines, coming, come, coming towards the front lines, uh, what kind of troops and soldiers would you see there? Well, our very first one is uh, the balloon service or the balloon corps. Uh, Lieutenant Charles Hayward is our soldier that we highlight. And for him in particular, we don't have any artifacts of his. However, we do have a wonderful collection, photograph collection and archival col collection. So we don't have anything that's three-dimensional, but we have his um, materials that really state what he did as a balloon observer, uh, went up in a balloon basket to observe the enemy lines and what he did while he was up there. So that was a wonderful way for us to kind of give the visitor an example of what, what these guys that were, that were going up in a balloon basket, sometimes by themselves, sometimes with two or three other soldiers, uh, to direct artillery fire, to observe uh, the enemy lines, and that kind of thing. Uh, for, and for him, we have one of our first interactives for a visitor. So basically, you can get into a balloon basket. This is uh, reproduced off of what the originals would have looked like. What we're asking visitors to do to, is to kind of look down on, on the image that's here on the floor and to try and pick out specifically key objects, whether they be belts of barbed wire, whether they be an outpost. And we do give them a little bit of a cheat sheet here to um, kind of see what the observer would have been looking for, things that are most of us may not be able to pick out, but that these guys would have been trained to, to look for nuances in terrain and uh, specific ways the enemy may have tried to camouflage certain parts of their front line. Here we have another photograph of some balloon observers that are getting ready to, to go up. The two conical bags you see here are actually parachutes. This was um, one of the first times that, uh, that parachutes were used in active, active combat. So the observers, if they were attacked by enemy airplanes, would have been expected to um, to basically jump right out of the basket. Uh, and as far as we know, there was only one observer that was killed at, by jumping out, and that's because he jumped out too late. His balloon had caught fire um, by enemy, enemy uh, airplane fire, and he, he waited too long, so the, the burning balloon came down on him. But others um, jumped to safety.